Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I will show you how to make very easy this pneumatic engine which is based on a type of steam engine known as the wobbler engine or oscillating engine. But this uses air instead of steam. And the name comes from the fact that the cylinder, as you can see, is oscillating during the movement of the engine. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. Let's see how the engine is made. As you can see, it is just a common syringe, plastic syringe, that is coupled to these compact discs. So, when the plunger of the syringe moves, it pushes this axis and the disc rotates. The syringe is fixed to this wooden base because the base has a hole and the syringe has this piece of wire that is glued to the body using epoxy glue and at the end of the plunger we also have a piece of wire that is inserted in the axis that we have on the CDs. The flywheel is made of compact discs. I have three CDs glued together in order to have more weight and more weight means more inertia. And I just made a hole in the CDs and inserted this piece of wire. The discs are put on the CD-ROM motor. The motor is not connected to anything. I just use it as a bearing so that the flywheel can rotate freely and with low friction. The plastic syringe has too much friction at the plunger and the air pressure will not be sufficient to make it move. What you need to do is to take out the plunger and using sandpaper you need to sand down the tip of the plunger, the rubber tip. Use a sandpaper of a fine grit, around 3 to 400, and sand it until you feel that it can move with some freedom. In order to apply pressure to the syringe, I will simply use canned air. Okay, so the way in which the engine works must be pretty obvious, but let me explain it. When the flywheel is in this position and we apply the air to the tip of the syringe, the pressure builds inside the syringe 
and the piston move, moves, pushing the flywheel, which rotates. But notice that in this movement, the tip of the syringe moves and the air no longer enters the syringe. But the flywheel continues to rotate because of its inertia and then returns to this position when the air again can enter the syringe and the cycle repeats. Okay, there you have it, a very simple to make pneumatic engine. Nothing special is needed, common syringe, CDs with the motor, piece of wood and some wire. Hope you liked the video, thanks for your visit. If you want to help me, please visit my Patreon page. Thanks and see you in the next video.